So that's a lot. Looking into this week, we'll briefly connect with us a little bit, but this week, you're back home. You got uh, two familiar teams, Tyler and Letourneau again. You know, uh, tell us a little about what, what this week uh, may bring here in the U.S. gym. Um, you know, it's it's a little tricky to play somebody back-to-back -back two games in a row. It's not something that happens very often. Um, but, you know, it's it's fun for us to be able to get into the part of the season where we're starting to make adjustments, you know. Um, instead of playing somebody for the first time, we're playing for a second time so we can kind of really go back and look at that specific game film of kind of what happened in the game, what worked for us, what didn't work for us, what worked for them, what didn't work for them, and kind of, you know, trying to guess what adjustments they're going to make and, uh, you know, what adjustments we're going to make as well. So uh, that's going to be fun. I know last year we had... Uh, we had the same the same thing with our schedule where we were going to play UT Tyler back to back, and so we had scheduled our second Louisiana College game in the middle of that to try to break that up, which um, we found out was not a good idea because we ended up <laughs> playing in an 85 degree gym on a Monday while Tyler was at home resting, and so we decided we were going to move that instead. So we're going to play them uh, next week and kind of in the middle of a four game homestand instead of having the three games on the road and in between, you know, playing Tyler twice in a row. So. Um, It'll be fun to, uh, to get, be able to get to make some adjustments, and I think our kids are, are feeling pretty good going this weekend. Now, uh, a little bit before we get into the last weekend play, we're going to talk a little about your freshman class. One moment against Tyler, though, it was five on five, like basketball game, but it was five seniors against five freshmen. We had the five freshmen, and we were within one point with five minutes to go in the game. Uh, how, how refreshing is it to see that, that your freshmen – we're playing with one of the best teams in the conference. It's exciting. I'm just, I'm just really, really excited about uh, the future of our program. And um, you know, I, I, I felt really good about our class. Uh, you know, spent a lot of time recruiting last year and really tried to identify kids that I thought would be, you know, obviously good basketball players, but good fits for us from a personality standpoint, from a fit standpoint for the university and everything. And I think we did a good job of. Uh, we got very fortunate as well with a lot of the kids that we kind of saw and liked from watching them play in the summer and stuff were also kids who were wound up being good fits for us. So I uh, got fortunate there, but obviously uh, you know, I had 11 kids commit, which was more than I thought we were going to get, and then all 11 of them came, and all 11 are still on the team, and um, you know, they've kind of taken some time, and we've taken our lumps this year of um, you know doing things that young teams do, turning the ball over a lot, and kind of not looking in sync offensively, and um, you know not being able to keep up defensively with the consistent intensity that you got to have but I just it's been so exciting to watch them get better uh, throughout the course of the season and you know obviously now we should have turned into a few more wins but um, you know at this point in the season it's they're, they're really playing well and uh, they're playing well together and uh, you know we've been starting three of them um, for the last couple of weeks and I really think all three of those kids ought to make all freshman team I, you know there's a few other freshmen that are in our conference that are playing well I know Dallas has got uh, you know Victoria Payne is well, playing well and Carly Tedley at, uh, at uh, LC has been playing well and then um, uh, Ozarks has a, has a freshman that's been playing a lot for them too but I, I think our three that have been playing a lot and our class just as a whole top to bottom I think is as good as anybody's and um, you know I think I really think Hannah Holt ought to be conference freshman of the year. I don't think there's any freshmen that are doing what she's doing on a consistent basis. Mm -hmm. And obviously we'll talk about what she did Saturday in a minute, I'm sure. But, um, you know, and then Brittany Jones, I think, is one of the best defensive players in the conference already as a freshman. And Amanda Wilson is one of the best two-way post players um, is getting there. And, and like I said, the other kids that we've got coming off the bench have been really getting better as well. And we've got a lot of different types of players that uh, play well together. Jade Jeffries has been playing really well the last couple of weeks. And that kind of is what uh, – allowed us to put the five out there is that I put uh, Jade, Hannah's been, been our point guard all year and I put Jade in there with Hannah so we could move Hannah off the ball a little bit and uh, we had four of them out there together and we've had times with, with four of them out there I hadn't had five out there together before but we had four of them out there with a sophomore and I was and Brittany was the one sitting on the bench and I was like you know what I'm just going to put her in and we'll play five freshmen to see what happens you know and uh, they played great they did a good job um, you know Tyler's very senior heavy and uh, they were out there against five seniors and they held their own with them for those two three minutes that they were out there together so you know I think we're putting people on notice that we're going to be a team that's going to be really really dangerous and scary in the next year or two. Well you already mentioned about Hannah Holt we can go back and talk a little about last week fell on the road to uh, the tournament scores not comparable to how close the game really was. And then UT Tower went down to, to basically the last five minutes of the game. Hannah Hall had career-high 28 
points. I think she hit five or six three pointers in that game. Uh, played extremely well. So, uh, talk about you know that UT Tyler game, how close it was. Well, I, I knew you know when we recruited her, I knew Hannah was going to have that capability um, to be an impact player right away as a freshman, and she has. You know, she's been our leading scorer all year, and um, she had a few games like Thursday night. She didn't play very well, um, but she really bounced back big time on Saturday, and that's what good players do. Is you know you can't you don't let yourself get into slumps, and uh, you figure out how to work through tough times and and come back stronger, and that's what she did. And I was just really happy for her to have played as well as it sh as she did. Um, sorry, what did you ask me? <laughs> Let's talk about that game in general. Oh, yeah, yeah. And how close it was. Yeah, yeah. So with, the uh, with with one of the top teams sorry in the conference. About that. I don't know. <laughs> brain <laughs> lapse today. <laughs> little little brain lapse today. Um, yeah, uh, the final score really wasn't indicative of how the game was played. And uh, you know, I'm, I was telling Kenneth in our, our podcast the other day. I'm getting to the point where I'm like. We just need to quit fouling at the end of the games, trying to get the ball back, because now there, there's no more one and ones. It's automatic double bonus, and pretty much, you know, most players are going to be able to make at least one of those free throws. Mm -hmm. And they made 12 in a row to close the game. I mean, we were fouling at the end, trying to get the ball back, and they made 12 consecutive free throws, and that kind of wound up making the margin what it was. It was really probably a four or five point game. You know, we were within one or two with about four or five minutes left, and we got a couple really good looks that uh, you know on a different day might have fallen, and uh, they they didn't fall for us. They got the ball into their post players, and and they had senior post players that made good strong post moves and and went and scored, and then uh, that got them just a little bit of separation against us. Um, so I thought we got pretty good looks there late, and they just didn't fall. And then we started fouling to try to get the ball back, and they made a lot of free throws. So, um, you know, but we started off the game really well. We were we were ahead early. I think, uh, you know, we are pretty close there at halftime. So, again, we just – our, I know it hasn't translated to wins yet, but our, our, I think people have been watching us throughout the year like, we're really getting better. Our kids are really playing better. Um, they're playing together better. I thought Saturday we really played how we want to play. Obviously, like, we got to get better defensively, but offensively I thought we really did a good job of being patient, of sharing the ball, of moving the ball around. Um, and, I, you know, in spite of one player having 28 points, we did share the ball really well. I thought our ball movement was really good offensively. We didn't really rush too many shots. Um, and that's kind of what killed us on Thursday night is that we, we kind of panicked a little bit in the third quarter and started playing too fast and, um, you know, took some bad shots and that kind of let them get away from us. But Saturday we were under control. And, uh, you know, I think if we can string those together, I think we're going to have a chance to be really good in the next year too. Last question, what's the, the goal for, from now to the end of the season? Because the, the conference room is out of reach, but you have this freshman class playing well. What's the goal from now to when the, the season ends there at the end of February against Bellhaven? Well, I think it's kind of what it has been the last couple of weeks. You know, I, you know, obviously, we're, we're still not technically mathematically eliminated. We're four games back with five to go that count. So, we, you know, if we win all five, there's a chance we can get in. But, you know, we're not really concerned about that. What we're really concerned about is improving. And, um, again, just trying to build off what we did Saturday and play the way that we want to play and play hard 100% of the time time uh, not quit not give up it's despite what our record is and despite whatever the scores the game may be um, you know we're, we're not really as focused on the results we're focused on the process and mm -hmm. how we're playing and uh, whether we're playing hard and smart and together that's what we're trying to do all right coach looking forward to a bright future and a strong uh, run here towards the end of the season pick up a couple more wins and maybe shock some of these teams in in the AC East that'd be great all right coach thanks all for right. talking to us and thanks good luck so. Thursday night Thursday night will also be retro night as uh, we want students to come out dressed in the 70s wear and uh, we'll have a, a retro dance off at halftime where uh, the winner will get a free Juicy's hamburger. So students come on out and wear your uh, retro costumes. We're